Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty-five in chapter twenty-six. Chapter twenty-six is about DC circuits. So there we can see we have this circuit, right? We need to compare the voltage changes for each resistor and the current changes for each resistor when the switch is closed or opened. See how can we do that? We need to solve this circuit at the initially. So initially, we know the R1, R2, R3, R4 is the identical resistors, right? Its resistance, we can say, is R0. It's 1, 2, 5 ohms. And the power supply gives, uh, offers the power as 22 volts. So first one, when the switch is open, the switch is open, that means this uh, R2 is not connected in the circuit. So that means uh, the current goes through equal to zero, the voltage across it equal to zero, right? And then the resistor R3 and R4 are in parallel connection. So we can use this function to get the equivalent resistance for R3 and R4 as R34, that is R0 over 2. Agree? Now the equivalent resistance for a switch is open, that is the R1 plus R34 R1 plus R34 equal to 3 R0 over 2. Mm -hmm. So now we can see the current goes through this circuit equal to I1 equal to V divided by the R equivalent. So that is 2V over 3 times R0. Agree? Yes. So now the V1 is I1 times R1, that is 2V over 3. So that makes V3, V4 equal to V over 3, that is V minus V1, right? Now we can see the current I3 is V3 over R3, I4 is V4 over R4. This is for switch is open. Now switch is closed. So that means the resistance, resistor R2, R3, R4 are in parallel connection. So now we can get the equivalent resistance for R2, R3, R4 in this uh, function. Now, we solve this function, we can get R234 as R0 over 3. Equivalent resistance for switch is closed, that is R1 plus R234, right? That is 3 R0 over, or 4 R0 over 3. Now, the current in the circuit in the, is equal to I1, so that is uh, the V, the power supply over the equivalent resistance. That is 3V over 4 times R0. And then we can get the V1 as I1 times R1, that is 3V over 4, 3 quarter of the V. Now we can get the V2, V3, V4 as the V, the power supply minus V1, that is 1 quarter of V. Mm -hmm. Now we can get the I2 as V2 over R2, I3 as V3 over R3, I4 as V4 over R4, right? Now we can see we list uh, all the uh, quantities we just uh, get, we just uh, obtained from the previous work for switch is open and switch is closed. Look at the question A. What happens to the voltage across each resistor when switch is closed? Initially it's open, finally it's closed. Now we can see V1 changes from 2V, uh, 2V over 3 to 3V over 4, so the V1 increased, right? And V2, we can see from the 0 to V over 4 increased. V3 from the V over 3 to V over 4 decreased. And V4 from V over 3 to V over 4 decreased. Mm -hmm. The part B asks you what happens to the current through each resistance when switch is closed. So now we can say initially the I1 is 3V over 3 or 2V over 3 are not. Finally, it becomes 3V over 4 are not. Of course, I1 is increased. I2 increased from 0 to V over 4 are not. I3 just uh, decreased, right? I4 decreased. Mm -hmm. Now we look at the part C. Ask you what it happens to the power output is the batteries. Now we can see the power for batteries is just the current times V, agree? In this case, we can see the V is constant, and the current just equal to I, right? I. 
and these ones the current increased. So of course the power will increase. The part D we can see tell us the R1, R2, R3, R4, R5 equal to 1, 2, 5 ohms, that is R0, and V equal to 22 volts. Determine the current goes through the resistors before and after the switches. So now we just input the R0 and V in these functions, can get all the values there. You can see, of course, this just equals our prediction, right? Thank you.